We're actually separating you in order to connect you to you. And in having a clear separation between the part of you that is sending this warm attention to the body and the experience in the body of receiving that attention, we actually deepen your connection with yourself. It's a, it's a funny paradox, but in separating you, we connect you more precisely and more deeply. And so in realizing my poor body, that's a perfectly lovely sentiment, <clears throat> but you were just about to go, my poor body, look what I've done to you, what a schmuck I am. And um, in doing that, it becomes sort of absorbed then in that guilty place. Your poor little body actually doesn't get the warm interest that would allow it to feel attended to and soothed, which it really, really, really deserves to feel. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to, you've done beautifully. You've gone through and done a scan, check, 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 check. You did really nicely. And in fact, your breathing had changed when I asked you uh, what that was like for you. Your breathing had slowed, so over here on this side of the room, it looked to me as though you got a little tiny bit of relief. But the story you gave me was, no, it hadn't changed. And it was because you'd already um, left a bit and moved into this judgmental part of you that is so hard on you that if you haven't done it perfectly or if you haven't been, you know, historically really great with yourself, then you should be punished. We're really trying to get the, 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 the judgment off because the fact that you're even engaging with me on this is so very loving and transformational. It's the opposite of what you did and had to do as a child. You know, you're coming towards the discomfort and it is so hard to do. And I completely honor you in doing this work and I want you to honor you in doing it as well. Okay? Good. Good. So we're going to do round two. And round two is slower than round one. And in round two, you're going to come towards the specific areas of the body that you just identified. But this time, I want you to have a dual focus. You're going to notice what it feels like in your breath. Just notice. Don't try and manipulate it or change it, but feel the way you're breathing, feel how you're breathing, and track those clenched hands or that aching shoulder. Right. And we're going to go five times slower, and you're really trying to notice that your body is registering this attention that this body is actually sensing your presence. And we're not expecting it to release. If it's been holding for a long time, it might not release. It might even get worse, right? In that way that sometimes when you pay close attention, something intensifies. And you and I, we're just going to breathe and stay with it and bring this loving, warm, interested attention to the body for round two. You ready to go? Good. When you describe that feeling to me, you did beautifully there, come back again and then as you say that, then you ask this next question, and what does that feel like? It might ache or it might throb or it might burn or it might feel exhausted or it might feel you know, um, agitated or buzzy. So sometimes what happens is, you know, these more poetic words will come in. But if again I follow with them, what does that feel like? I often will um, return again to something physical because that's where we're targeting. But sometimes part of it is to say it feels desperate, it feels alone, it feels desolate, it feels despairing, right? It's like an ache as deep as the ocean, it's an ache as big as the universe, right? It just it's just this heavy exhaustion. Stay with it. What does that it may, feel You like? may not get very much. It may just be really tense. It may just be, what does tense feel like? Really tense. It's like, you know, 
one of the things that's important for us to hold on to is just in this moment, what we're growing is your ability to tolerate your body in the moment. Okay? Because that's where we're going to grow your power. But we're really just practicing, can you tolerate when your body gets freaked out? Right? It's like we're at the gym and we're lifting weights and we're growing your muscles for staying with yourself. Feel the sensations. Understand this. We are organisms that are wired to move away from pain. That is wired, sweetie. I don't care how big your brain is. That is wired into you way, way below your cortex. Pain bad, okay? Tree pretty, fire hot, okay? Way deep in you. You feel that pain in your fingers. You want to move away, and I'm asking you not to do that. Every time you move to a story, you're obeying your earlier programming, but you're betraying yourself, okay? So you've got to do this hard, hard thing, okay? Stay with me. You're doing great. You're doing great. Tell me about that it hurts when you clench your fist like that. Beautiful. Stay with it. Feel it. Feel it. Okay. Now breathe into it. Come towards it. I know you want to move away. I want you to feel it. Breathing. Feel the spread. Breathe into it and feel it. Slow down. Slow down. You're almost speeding up now. That's part of escape strategy. Stay with it. Feel yourself making the decision to stay with it because you choose to care about yourself in this place of pain. Can you find the chooser? Well, find the part of you. Good. That says, I will not abandon you when you are hurting. Feel yourself. Plant yourself there. I will not abandon you when you are hurting, when you feel bad. Feel it and then feel the hurting, feel the tension. That's what love looks like. That's what love looks like. I will not abandon you in your hour of need. I will not leave you even though you are hurting, even though you are uncomfortable, even though you don't feel good, especially, especially, oh, especially when you don't feel good. 